We've been pointing out that the market is down a little bit today. It was up a little bit earlier, down 80 points right now. We've also been talking a lot about Janet Yellen's comments. We talked earlier about uh, Donald Trump saying he would replace her as the uh, chairperson of the Federal Reserve. So with that, Steve Lieb is here. And thank you, Steve. It's always good to see you. Nice to see you. I want you to react before we start to some comments that a mutual friend of ours delivered on the program earlier, Charlie Gasparito. I don't know if you saw this, but here's what Charlie had to say last hour. This is the wildest of wild cards. <laughs> oh, come on. Steve Lean of Lean Capital Management. He would be the best Fed chairman now, ever. We should point out that Steve is very substantive as, as well. Steve is, knows the economy. He's been a long-time market guy and eco economist. I mean, he knows his stuff. Charlie thinks you should be the next Fed chair. I, we yeah. think, well, Charlie and I think that you would give the best Federal Reserve testimony of all time. Well, I, I just want to say something about Charlie. Uh-oh. On the e on the, in the wake of Brexit, he made by far the most intelligent comment. What? That anyone made that I heard seriously, and I heard it while I was list, sitting right here. He said maybe this will spur these people on to do some real serious spending, right. uh, infrastructure, roads, etc. And that may really be the tonic Europe and even Britain needs. Why are you kissing up to Charlie? I'm just remarking, and I said There's that to, to Ben, to, to, to all the other people that were on the show we at that time. Him. So, I mean, it really is true. You're nothing about dinner over at the restaurant no, later? Nothing. The I, not even a cup of coffee. <laughs> not, not even a, a vodka. <laughs> nothing at all. Even but, on a trip to China, say something? Uh, no, nothing no, like that. No. no I wouldn't, but, you and Charlie, you should go to China. I mean, if he speaks Mandarin, I'm, I'm up for Oh, it. I'm sure he does. <laughs> He's a little, Mandarin, a little slice of Italian. Don't Let me ask you this. Uh, so Janet Yellen speaks, right? The market goes up like 100 points. Yeah, no huge deal. Well, but then it goes down. And um, what happened, you think, well, today? Uh, you what, know, what's going on today? But what was really interesting, Janet Yellen, you know, the grandmother-like individual that she is, very <laughs> gently saying, well, economy's nice. getting better, it's moving, to, oh, you know, she speaks right. softly, moving toward our goal of uh, full employment, inflation is getting better. There's room for a rate hike. Nothing at all surprising. It's sort of like she echoed exactly what people were saying during the week. Right. Is that maybe and because of her soft voice, even toned down. Market rallied, in particular, yeah. the dollar down. It, it, for initial response, because we're, we may yeah. raise interest rates up, but then sharp decline in the dollar, gold and silver, Big moves up. Okay, so what's Nothing going on? Nothing to worry on? about. Then what happened? Stanley Fisher, who is the vice chairman, gets on, and someone somewhere asks him a question. Do you expect a definite rate hike, or would it be possible to have two rate hikes? Right. He said, what the chairman said is perfectly consistent with there being a rate hike in September and another rate hike in December. This turned things yeah, around. Yeah, because nobody thought September. No, right. and, and what, she, what he was saying is that we are not committed, as Yellen implied, I don't, as Yellen implied, to a slow movement in interest rates. You. We can go for fast movements in interest rates. Every Thing changed in It'll the market. I still think dollar, they raise. Gold, in, and you silver. think they go in September? We got to go here, by the way. But you don't think they go in September anyway, do you? I would guess right now, 75, 25, they do. Really? You have at least one rate hike by oh. the end of the year. As a parting gift, I'm going to give you some of this KFC uh, sunscreen. Oh, it smells like chicken. <laughs> Thank, you you so Thank you so much. I like Stephen